Hello, Mr. Robert Florian. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing very well, thanks. So, it's interesting, we, we have this show of yours up at Artworks Gallery in Vancouver, and um, we just wanted to get some thoughts of yours regarding your work. When did you start painting? I started painting, well actually it was more drawing when I was really small, and uh, I was always doodling and sketching and, and working around paint, always in that thing more, but <laughs> um, it was funny because I never took it seriously. Um, I seemed to be taking music more seriously. Somehow the brush and pencil kept finding its way back into my hands, so um, I kind of stuck with that. Your pieces are well known for representing BC landscape, mm -hmm. and you do travel a great deal, I understand. Can you talk about your travels and, and what inspires you? So every time I feel the need to be re-inspired by um, a certain type of landscape, I go into that direction and, and seek out new areas for that. And what's great about it here is that wherever direction you go into, it's always different. If I want the west coast of the island, I'll go there. If I want something totally different than that, I can go into the Fraser Valley and, and get that too. So everything is really quite close, close by. So um, being inspired is not a difficult thing for, for me being a landscape artist because everything is right here. What would you say to someone who, who asked you about Swamp, for example? Can you describe the painting? Because it is very, in, very intriguing. The perspective is particularly uh, moving. Well, the, the painting uh, came from kind of an accidental trip that uh, I went on uh, with my wife Barbara to Port Moody. We were looking at the, the lakes around there, um, Sassamat Lake, Bunsen Lake, and we came to this area <clears throat> called Woodhaven Swamp. It appealed to me because it was so wild and rough and I didn't have to go further than Port Moody to find this. It, was, it had that, that untouched, rough feeling that I, that I really looked to find um, uh, to create my work. And so walking around this small, swampy, marshy area didn't take more than an hour to do, yet every time I, I stepped, uh, took a step, I found that there was a new composition that I could take a photograph of that appealed to me. And the one, the painting behind me actually, um, it was taken from a very small bridge. Um, and that was the biggest opening that I could find that didn't have anything obscuring my vision um, into the, the length of this, this marsh. And what appealed to me was the, the log in the, the front of the piece that led my eye through into the other part of the painting. And that, of course, in the colors, too. The, there was the, the rich warms and, and greens that, that appealed to me as well. And that, and then the blues, the reflection of the sky, all that came together in that part of, you know, that part of that trail. So it was, it was quite something. Um, of all the artists that you've probably admired over the years, who would you describe as being an inspiration to you? Wow, there could be very many artists that I can um, that I could talk about for inspiration for many different reasons. When I first started painting, it was um, it was the French landscape artists that that appealed to me and inspired me the most. That's actually what triggered me to become an artist was traveling throughout Europe and France and seeing the museums and, and what people had created from the land there and driving through the, the fields there and um, I mean it was just an amazing experience and and so people like Monet and uh, Cezanne, Van Gogh, all these um, artists really had an impact on, on me right off the bat and when I became more interested in my surroundings um, as, as a, wanting to be a BC landscape artist, I started to get more inspired by members of the Group of Seven, of course. I mean, I think just about every Canadian landscape artist is going to 
you know, love what they do, and so each one of them has had an impact in what I do um, for different methods, different colors, different ways that they paint it. Um, I can't single out one particular artist because they've all done something for, for what I do. I understand that one very famous Canadian artist who perhaps some people don't know gave you some very good advice once. Can you tell us what that was? Oh, yeah, that was a, a fortunate lunch that I was invited to um, with Gordon Smith at his home in West Van. And uh, <clears throat> I imagine he's the person that you're questioning. But uh, um, his advice was, he looked at my work and he, and he really enjoyed um, looking at what I was doing. And uh, he could see that I was going in or trying to push myself in different directions with my work, um, more so in an abstract form. And he told me not to push it, not to force it, and that it would all happen on its own. And he could tell that it was something that would happen with me. He just felt it by looking at my work that I was going in that direction anyhow. And if not, then so be it. That's fine too. But um, I see abstract in, in all landscapes that I do. Um, you could cut out a small section of, of any painting and blow that up and think, wow, you know, it's an abstract right there. It has its modern qualities. So I look for things in, in landscapes that, are, that have some sort of modern abstract quality to it. I think it's, it's that form of, of um, what should I say, uh, imbalance that is, is what appeals to me, that, that roughness, that wildness to everything that's around us. Well, your paintings have a, um, a wonderful play between water, sky, and rock and wood. I mean, they just do. Uh, obviously, these things interest you a great deal. Um, but it's it, particularly the light that people have commented to me about in the paintings. Yeah, well, that's definitely something that I find is, is the challenge in each piece. Um, not so much the composition. The composition is something that I start with, but I think that the light is something that I, that I really took notice of and learned from the, the French Impressionists and the Canadian Impressionists, where that plays an important role in trying to bring across that feeling of what it's like to stand where I stood, what it's like to, to experience that that way that the sun is hitting a certain object and, or playing on the water. And so definitely light is, and, and how it interacts, time of day is all very important to, to what I do. And, it, and definitely being one of the most difficult things to, to master. Where do you see yourself going in the future in terms of painting? Oh, wow. Um, that's a, it's an interesting question because uh, that's something that I think I ask myself every day is what direction am I going to go in today and I think in the last uh, 15 years that I've been working as an artist I've changed that direction many times and, um, and I don't think that I'm going to be staying in with this particular way of painting this style uh, throughout my life and this is what I noticed about Gordon Smith, uh, I went to a retrospective of, of his at the Vancouver Art Gallery and, and it was beautiful to see how he had changed from painting in the, in the 50s to today. I mean, it was like seeing several different artists together and each one portraying something beautiful on its own, in its own right. So um, I, I think that in the future, or my future, I'll probably change a lot, I'm not sure, but uh, it's definitely uh, going to be nice to see how I change, like it's something that I, I want to do, it's something that I want to experiment with, you know, how, how can I bring across a feeling of landscapes to people in different ways. Congratulations on the show, and thank, thank you, you for much. talking. Thanks very much.